already touched a hundred. Nah, a million is the main goal. Bitches chasing me, but I keep chasing after change, though. Focused on the money, here's the stew in between. You can get it too, and all you gotta do is believe. I'm the man now I'm Cali, I'm the shit of Milwaukee. Made a stop in Ohio on my way to Kentucky. Yo, I'ma need y'all to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for your boy. We've been turning up. Shout out to all the new supporters. Ice Max is doing a giveaway at 45k. He at 41k right now. All you have to do is go to his channel, subscribe to everybody on that list, and you can win a free PC. That's simple, y'all. Let's get it. Yo, what's good? Another video, man. Keep going crazy. Um, shout out to the vault for this. Another one. Um, you be dropping bangers, bro. I salute you. Um, yeah, man. Y'all know it was gonna come to this one day at least. Um, we got Takashi Six Nine here, man. We're gonna see what Vault talking about. Vault description gonna be in this video, you know. Um, come on, let's react to it. Let's go. Let's 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 see. Let's see what Vault got to say, man. Six Nine was one of the most talked about rappers in the past year or so. True. The Brooklyn rapper came into the scene loud and proud with his song Gummo, reaching mainstream success and obtained millions of streams across the internet. Following that success, Six Nine continued to build a massive following for himself and proceeded to sell out shows across the world, all while releasing consecutive chart-topping hits. 6 9 even managed to ink a multi-million dollar publishing deal with Create Music Group. But despite becoming one of the most exciting artists in hip-hop... What that was about? I don't know. 6 9 just couldn't stay out of legal trouble, and eventually found himself facing a possible mandatory sentence of 47 years. Want to hear more? Well, we have you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of 6 9 Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Vault, man. 6 ix first arrest allegedly took place years before his fame, according to Genius and No Jumper. But you did go to jail for a little bit, right? What happened nah, with yeah, that? Nah, yeah, I went to jail. And man. that's lit. How old were you when this happened? This was, I was, I was a minor. Oh, I was a minor. Okay. While the exact date is unknown, 6 9 claimed to have worked at a store around his area, but he was doing a little more than just running the register. 6 9 was apparently selling heroin from the store, and it was eventually caught by the owner. Once caught, 6 9 proceeded to beat up the owner of the store, which resulted in the cops being called. Police arrived at the scene moments later and charged 6 9 with the sale of an illegal substance as well as second-degree assault. It's unknown what the consequences of this was, but since 6 9 was a minor at the time, we can probably assume that he just got a slap on the wrist. 6 9 second arrest took place on March 5th, 2015. This arrest in particular brought a lot of controversy to 6 9 and definitely made his come up a lot more difficult than the average rising rap star. The events that led to his arrest occurred on the night of February 21st, 2015, after he was invited to a party in Harlem. Once he arrived to the party, a group of older men asked 6 9 if he could invite some women to the party. 6 9 said he couldn't invite anyone over at the time, so the men just said that they would invite the girl from last night over. When the girl from last night arrived, 6 9 claimed to have asked the girl her age, to which she responded with 19. The group then proceeded to party all night long. Throughout the night, 6 9 and friends recorded videos of them doing explicit things with the girl, which later were posted to 6 9s Instagram. A few days later, the girl's mother saw the video 6 9 posted on his Instagram and filed a criminal complaint against him. In the complaint, the mother revealed that the girl was only 13 years old at the time those events took place. After a week or two passed, 6 9 was contacted by the police and was arrested on the same day. He claimed that he was under the impression that she was 19, and only did the things in the video to maintain his scumbag persona. 6 9 was Damn. held in jail for about two months on a $100,000 bail, but eventually got it reduced to around $70,000 and was released shortly after. At the next court date, 6 9 entered a plea deal that gave him the opportunity to follow a bunch of rules set by a judge for two years in order to receive a lighter sentence. The rules given to him by the judge were that 6 9 must complete one year of interim probation, two years of mental health treatment, 300 hours of community service through the New York City Parks Department, get his GED, 
write a letter to the victim and her guardian explaining why the participation he had in the videos was harmful to her and her family, and why publishing the videos made it even worse, and to not commit another crime for two years. Damn. The judge also gave certain restrictions on what 6 9 could post on social media. If 6 9 followed all these instructions by the time of sentencing, he would only receive three years of probation instead of three years in prison. Fast forward over three years later, 6 9 was sentenced to four years probation in October of 2018, under the conditions of not saying the term Treyway in public and a thousand hours of community service. 6 9 didn't even get his GED and was arrested. What the fuck? Y'all hear that? How the fuck you can't. How the fuck you don't tell this man what he can say? Arrested several times as well, but I guess he just Excuse got himself a good lawyer kids, after he received too. some of that gummo money. 6 ix third arrest happened in May of 2018 in Brooklyn, New York. Details on this arrest are scarce, but it was reported that 6 9 was initially charged for driving with a suspended license. Police also stated that 6 9 injured a police officer's hand while in custody, which led to additional charges being pressed against the rapper. Those charges were obstructing governmental administration and assault. I couldn't find any confirmed information about the outcome of this arrest, but I'm assuming it was dropped, or maybe just led to a fine. 6 ix fourth arrest happened on July 11th, 2018 for an incident that happened back in January. According to multiple reports, on January 6, 2018, 6 ix was shopping at the Galleria Mall in Houston, Texas when he was approached by a 16-year-old fan named Santiago Alberen. Santiago began recording 6 ix 9 in the mall, which the rapper didn't appreciate. 6 ix 9 soon turned around and started to yell at Santiago, ordering him to delete the video, and eventually grabbed Santiago by the neck while his bodyguards surrounded him. Santiago quickly deleted the video and apologized, but Santiago's family proceeded to report 6 ix 9 to the cops. A few months later, a warrant was issued for 6 ix 9 and he was eventually arrested at JFK Airport in New York City. That's the crazy. one charge filed against 6 ix 9 was misdemeanor assault causing bodily injury. The charge against 6 9 was later dropped because Santiago didn't want to take legal action. Hmm. 6 9s latest and most notorious arrest happened on November 18th, 2018 in New York City. Check it out, check it out now. Uh, I wish I didn't have to do this video. That I have to report that 6 9 and a couple of affiliates at least have been taken into federal custody. Now After recently firing his whole team and canceling his tour unexpectedly, 6 9 was picked up by the FBI and was indicted on multiple federal charges. A few of those charges were conspiracy with others to commit racketeering, discharging a firearm while committing a crime, committing a crime of violence in aid of racketeering, assault with a dangerous weapon, carrying a firearm, and committing a crime in aid of racketeering. Five associates of 6 9 were picked up by the FBI on similar charges as well, with one of them being his former manager, Shoddy. Y'all think that was a dirty situation? Or you feel like... Y'all feel like 6 9 already had that coming to him. Hmm. 6 9s first hearing was about a week later on November 26, 2018. During that hearing, 6 9 pleaded not guilty to the charges and was denied bail, which means that he was forced to sit in jail <sighs> until his trial date, which was estimated to be in September of 2019. On January 22, 2019, it was revealed that three other associates of 6 9 were picked up and charged as well. One of these associates was Kuda B, who was indicted for allegedly shooting at Chief Keefe back in June of 2000. That was the dancer dude, I think, y'all. 2018, and was eventually caught after 6 9 told authorities that after getting in a beef with Chief Keefe online, he offered $20,000 to Kuda B to shoot at Chief Keefe outside of the W Hotel in Manhattan. After shooting at Chief Keefe and missing, Kuda B apparently met with 6 9 and Shoddy and received a payment of $10,000, only half of what they had agreed on. Just days after snitching on Kuda B, 6 9 announced in court that he will be changing his plea to guilty and proceeded to admit to all nine charges against him, as well as to being a member of the nine Trey gangsters. But 6 9 didn't just confess to all these crimes for no reason, he was actually offered an extremely generous plea deal. The deal was that if 6 9 pledged to cooperate with authorities and testify against all others, he would not be prosecuted for any of his nine charges. Details about this case are all over the place, but to quickly summarize this for you guys who are still confused, 6 9 was involved with a gang called the Nine Trey Bloods, aka Treyway. This gang was being investigated long before 6 9 ever joined. 
The feds eventually got enough evidence and arrested all of them. They were all facing extremely long sentences, but 6 9 eventually snitched on everyone so he, and only he, could avoid jail time. I hope that makes a little more sense. 6 9s release date is rumored to be in January of 2020, according to his girlfriend and other online media outlets. I also want to add that going from facing life in prison to ultimately getting away with just time served probably seems like a W to the average law-abiding citizen, but in 6 9s case, it's different. 6 9 made a career off of his gangster and about that life persona, and everyone, and I mean everyone, knows that snitching is a big no-no when it comes to the streets. When the news came out that he snitched, a majority of the hip hop community lost respect for 6 9 I'm not saying that 6 9s career is over, but he will definitely have to change his image from here on out, and I have a feeling it won't be anything like it was before he got locked up. But who knows, 6 9 is unpredictable and I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to his wild antics. Well, there you have it, the criminal history of 6 9 if Yo, what y'all think? And shout out to Vaught for this video, man, banger. Banger, 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 banger. His link will be below. You know what I'm saying? Give him credit for this. Um, 6 9 I ain't got too much to say on that situation, bro. Because I was fucking with you, man. I was, I was bumping your shit. I had niggas like, damn, bro. Turn that shit off, bro. That shit annoying. I was bumping that shit. You feel me? I ain't going to cap. But... That shit dead now. That shit dead. Um, I don't even know what to say, y'all. Um, make sure y'all get to, to Smack's channel to get them free PCs, man. Get to the channel to get them free PCs, man. All you have to do is subscribe to everybody on his list, bro. And you get a free PC, bro. Fully built. I'm talking about real, real shit, bruh. And um, make sure you subscribe to everybody on my list. Subscribe to everybody on that list, man. I'm telling you, man. They got dope content. You wouldn't be mad. You're going to be satisfied. When I'm not uploading, I want y'all to be looking at their videos too, bruh. I want y'all to be coming to click on their shit too, bruh. Real shit. And my birthday coming up, 213. I'm going to drop a video on my birthday, February 13th, I want everybody to comment and show love if you really support me and, and fuck with me. Comment, show love, subscribe. I'm out, man. Um, and shout out to everybody that been messing with me, that been getting me up there, that been watching my videos. I appreciate it. Everybody that sub, all this new subscribers in January. It's like almost 400 of y'all. Shout out to all y'all, man. Real shit. I'm out. Come to the next video, show love, hit the like button, I'm out. I sit back, thank God for everything I got. Yeah. And for giving me life again when I got shot. Yeah. Dreams of being the biggest dope boy on the block. Yeah. Rocks in my socks, boxes, drawers full of weed. Yeah. Hit me up, shout out God, everything you need. You know my game, you know my team, my flag is lime green. Yeah. Young nigga 17, gone up ecstasy, headed down.